Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we'll discuss about uh, 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 design and analysis of algorithm laboratory. That is uh, program number two B. Okay. Uh, write a Java, uh, Java class called customer to store their name and date of birth. The date of birth format should be dd slash mm slash y y y y. Okay. Write methods to read customer data as name comma uh, dd slash mm slash uh, y y y y. Okay. And display as uh, name comma dd comma mm comma uh, y y y y uh, using a string tokenizer. Okay, uh, uh, string tokenizer class. So here we we are uh, so we have uh, we have to use a string tokenizer inbuilt class. Okay, uh, so uh, what is the speciality of this class? This class string tokenizer it's an inbuilt class that breaks the uh, strings. Okay, that breaks the strings into tokens. Okay. So we'll see that how it works. Uh, string plus considering uh, the delimiter character as slash. So now uh, here we have used a slash right in this uh, year. So that is what delimiter. Mm. So now uh, first we'll I'll execute the uh, program and we'll try to understand what exactly uh, this question means. Okay, we'll see that now. So here this I'll just execute the program. Okay, uh, so customer details enter name. So enter name is what say A B C, okay, and date of birth. Uh, date of birth uh, it is uh, uh, okay. Let me take uh, uh, fifteen eight nine two forty five. Yes, <coughs> yes. Uh, so nineteen forty seven. Let me take. It's very good number. Yes. So now what is happening now? Here uh, the input is what A B C. So here we have used we had to use a string tokenizer. What does it do? It will break this entire string into tokens. So for example, one file will start from uh, tracing it from here. So it will start from here one and five. If it finds slash this slash that which is delimiter, uh, so then it will uh, break it into tokens. Yes. So now this is one one token. Okay, this is one token, and after that we have slash here. So then it is it is we have second one token, second token. Again here we have a slash again. So this is what uh, third token, right? So like this. So so now it is what the entire string, uh, uh, the string tokenizer class that which is inbuilt class that breaks the entire string into tokens. Uh, depending on the uh, uh, when it finds whenever it finds delimiter. Okay. Uh, so now uh, after this okay let me start with the program okay uh, first we'll start with main uh, class so main program so uh, here we have main method so this is the main class lab 2b is the main class uh, why because it has main method so execution start from main method and here we have class customer uh, we have created the object of customer class okay uh, so what is the object now uh, cust 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 is what uh, the method of customer class so make use of this uh, object to access the non static method uh, read data okay so here we have two non static methods uh, of customer class the customer class that is uh, read data and uh, display data these two are the non static methods okay and here we have uh, read data in customer class yes uh, so now you have to import this package now string tokenizer uh, package Okay, Java dot util dot string tokenizer because uh, we are using what a string tokenizer class uh, uh, which that belongs to Java dot util package. I'll repeat it once again. String tokenizer class uh, belongs to Java dot util. Okay, however, uh, since we have used the star here, okay, means what uh, it imports star means it imports all the classes of which package Java dot util package. Since you have used this star. You don't have to use this package again. You don't have to use this line again. But however, uh, uh, here it is used. Uh, even if you use it, uh, nothing will ha happen. You'll get the output. Okay, it will not affect the program. Uh, so why uh, then why did they use this extra line? Yeah, when if they have used a star here, then what is the use of uh, using the same thing again and again here? Because just for you to understand, because uh, so string tokenizer class is what it is a class which belongs to Java dot util package. That is that is why. Okay, so now we have uh, read data. First one is what? First method is read data. Now we have to uh, accept the uh, customer details. That is uh, name and date of birth. 
you already know this right first obviously to accept in data from the uh, input first we need to create the object of scanner class and not don't forget to pass the uh, parameter system dot in uh, in order to speak to the uh, keyboard because it has, to, it has to speak to the keyboards then keyboard will understand okay we are passing uh, in object that is which belongs to system class so that is why uh, to understand means what uh, to tell the keyboard to uh, give the inputs okay user inputs then that is why we are passing system dot in that's in simple word okay so next here uh, in is what in is an object of scanner class so you can use any name as i said before so uh, now customer details what is the customer details name first one is what name is equal to in dot next it is just a print a message enter name and then uh, in dot next uh, not we are not using next in method in here because uh, next in means what to accept integer uh, character the integer value from the keyboard then we use next int but uh, name is not integer right so it is a string so make use of next method which belongs to which class next method uh, is a non-static uh, method of which class scanner class so make use of uh, since it is a non-static method you had to use object of scanner class which is in and so this entire uh, uh, what is that the user input say for example as i entered i have entered abc right so name is equal to abc uh, system dot outer print uh, print enter the entire date of birth so what is the date of birth? Uh, so I have entered uh, 15 uh, slash 08 slash 1947, right? So uh, that you enter here, that is stored, that will be stored in date of birth, right? And after this, uh, here, uh, after that, once this block gets executed, this entire read data block gets executed. Uh, so what now, what is that, what is there in name now? Uh, uh, in name, we have ABC and name and the string, uh, date of birth. Uh, name and date of birth these two variables are uh, what uh, private variables of which class customer class okay so in uh, now in uh, now we will go back to the next instruction okay cust dot display data so cust dot dis display data means what it's a non static method of customer class again we'll go back to the uh, display data method it will execute display data method of customer class which is uh, declared as public yes uh, this display data is what it is declared as public and uh, uh, it is void okay and then <clears throat> uh, here we are using string tokenizer class as i said uh, what is the job of string tokenizer class so first you create the object of string tokenizer class and uh, what is the argument to be passed uh, this dot date of birth means what we had to pass the uh, string value what is the string value here date of birth right uh, so uh, when you pass this so what is how, how you should pass this is what this is a instance of current class means what copy of uh, current class or object of current class why do we use why are we using this keyword uh, because to access private variable that is date of birth of customer class okay so uh, instead of creating the object of customer class uh, here we have we are just using this keyword because this keyword is what object of customer class that is the meaning okay this keyword is object of current class current class is what customer class so uh, that is object to add. so now this dot dot operator make use of dot operator uh, so this dot date of birth is what it is a private variable of private variable of customer class right so this dot date of birth comma delimiter as a, uh, what is that as mentioned in the question uh, so uh, considering the delimiter character as slash so now here we have to check for slash now okay if you don't use slash in the program then it will it will just come out of the uh, uh, token that's it it will not break the string if you don't have any uh, tokens okay so whenever it finds to uh, slash it will break the string into tokens so now uh, here just first print the name okay print the name this dot name uh, this dot name is again same thing okay this is a instance of instance of current class while uh, st dot has more tokens so has more tokens is what it is this is an inbuilt method inbuilt method of which class inbuilt method of uh, uh or scanner what is that not scanner uh, it's a inbuilt method of string tokenizer class okay inbuilt method of the string tokenizer class and uh, so it will have this particular method will have the number of tokens how many tokens are there uh, so uh, 15 slash 08 second token 08 slash 1947 that is uh, 15 08 and 1947 total three tokens right so uh, if it is true yes if it is true, how to access this has more tokens uh, using uh, the object of string tokenizer class because has more tokens is what it is non-static method of string tokenizer class and to access non-static methods 
you had to create the object of string tokenizer class yes and uh, so if it is true then what will happen this message will be printed or what is that message so after this this dot name is what abc after that you had to separate it by comma uh, yes uh, and then plus concatenate combine the name and the date of birth right so uh, plus st dot next token means what next token means what next token is again a non static method of next token is non static method of uh, string tokenizer class okay so to access that you had to use object of string tokenizer class right and uh, so how many uh, tokens we have three tokens that is what first one is 15 second one 08 and third one 1947 right so it will uh, print how many times 15 comma uh, 08 comma 1947 so first this dot name is abc comma uh, 15 comma next uh, 08 comma 1947 okay that message will be displayed so after that it will come back come back to the main class and uh, it uh, so it'll, uh, program will uh, so it will end the program yes so let us execute this one once again uh, so so this is the program uh, okay so uh, here we have written the program even as i said if you do even if you don't use this you'll get the output i'll just remove this to string tokenizer class so yeah, i'll execute the program yes uh, enter enter name uh, what is that name uh, abc and date of birth uh, 15 slash 08 slash 1947 right so it should be in this format now 15 so now string tokenizer class will start tracing from left towards right okay so 15 is that then after that we have uh, slash right it when it finds slash it will break the break it into tokens so this is first token now 15 is first token second token is 08 third token is nine third token is 1947 okay now i'll execute this so it is it will break it into uh, tokens now abc is what however it will display the name whatever the uh, name we have entered from the keyboard that will be displayed comma separated by comma and 15 comma 08 comma 1947 yes it's all about uh, uh, program 2 b Okay, hope you have understood. If you have any doubt, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.